Hello students, welcome to EPG Patsala. I am Dr. Ramesh Sigord, University Librarian, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi, India. Today we are going to talk on the module OCLC. You know OCLC uh, also known as Online Computer Library Center. It is from paper Information, Communication and Technologies uh, for Libraries. In this particular module, uh, you will learn about OCLC, its history, uh, its seven committees, how it is governed, uh, OCLC membership, its products and services. Let's uh, talk about OCLC in detail. Basically, it is one of the largest worldwide library cooperative movement which is owned and governed and sustained by member libraries since 1967. It is a global cooperative organization built by member libraries, archives and museum that work together and are committed to each other and to the OCLC organization to share resources, expertise and cost. OCLC mission and vision. Mission of OCLC is connecting people to knowledge through library cooperation and its vision, beautiful vision, the world's libraries connected. Let's talk about the history of the OCLC, how it came into being. In 1967, the presidents of the college and universities in state of OU founded the OU College Library Center which was acronymed at OCLC to develop a computerized system in which the libraries of OEO academic institution could share resources and reduce costs. Its first office was in main library on the campus of the OEO State University and its first computer room was housed in the OSU Research Center. In 1977, the members of the OU organizing uh, governing council, they adopted changes in the governance structure that enables libraries outside OU to become members and to participate in the election of board of trustees. The OU College Library Center become OCLC Incorporation. In 1981, the legal name of corporation become OCLC Online Computer Library Center Incorporation. Today, OCLC serves more than 25,000 libraries, archives and museums from over 117 current countries of the world. OCLC Board of Trustees. To have functions of OCLC, uh, a governing board consists of Board of Trustees have been formed. The Board of Trustees comprises of 16 trustees, members from academic, public, state and national libraries who work to align OCSU's product, research and advocacy strategies with OCLC's mission and ensure that OCLC remains a strong collaborative, cooperative organization. The OCLC board of trustees which have four years term comprises of six trustees from OCLC Global Council, nine trustees elected by the board itself, out of that four from the library community and five from the fields outside librarianship. Budgets, audits and other reports are approved by the trustees who ensure that OCLC remains financially secure and true to its public purposes. The board also encourages a culture of cooperation and vigorous debates. The OCLC board is always open to the potential opportunities, partnership, acquisition proposal to achieve the mission and vision of OCLC. You all know to manage a cooperative organization, you need a proper governance and OCLC has a very well defined governance structure. It is governed by 
seven committees. OCLC Board of Trustees are responsible for oversight review of specific function through its seven committees. These includes first is the audit committee. The committee evaluates the performance of independent auditors, review auditors plans and processes and reviews audited financial statement and also oversees risk assessment and mitigation plans. The executive committee of the OCLC, it exercises the authority of the board in the management of the affairs of the corporation when the board is not in session. The finance and investment committee mainly responsible for management of finance. It reviews interim and annual financial result and the annual budget plan, the approval of loans, capital expenditure, mergers, acquisitions, dispositions and special expenditure. The long term investment policies are also prepared by this committee. Board governance committee. This committee is responsible for internal affairs and self evolution of the board. Then another committee which is uh, responsible for the staff of the OCLC, it is known as personal and compensation committee. It basically looks into the matters related to the performance, compensation and personal policies of management development and continuity plans. Membership committee of the OCLC reviews regularly membership and governance protocols for determining the membership policies. Technology planning committee is very important. It, in today's technology world, it explores the new emerging technologies and its implementation that can be well suited to helping libraries better serve their users' communities. OCLC Public Rest Nail For any organization, particularly for cooperative venture, it is important to have public rest nail. The public rest nail of OCLC is commitment to each other which involves working together to improve access to information around the libraries of the world. Another rationale related to this is to reduce the costs and expenditure of the libraries by the mechanism of collaboration. So cooperative and collaborations are the main theme of this public rationale. It also involved establishing, maintaining and operating a computerized library network, promotion of library use of libraries themselves and of librarianship, providing processes and products for the benefits of library users and libraries, increasing availability of library resources to individual library users around the world, reducing the rate of rise of library per unit cost and ease of access to worldwide scientific library and educational knowledge and information. OCLC membership. Who can be the OCLC member? The institution qualifies to become OCLC member by doing one or more of the following ongoing basis project or activity. Number one, sharing intellectual content and or participating in global resources or reference sharing through the subscription or contract for an OCLC system. Or number two, by contributing to the intellectual content or participating in global resources or reference sharing through an OCLC system provided by another organization such as local or regional cooperative or consortium. A state or provincial library or a national library or number three subscribing or contracting for an OCLC library management system that will facilitate global sharing when transition to world share. What are the OCLC values? Definitely uh, most important value it encourages cooperation through cooperative engagement. It reduces the cost on the basis of economy of scale. It is always working for excellence in the field, excellence inclusivity towards library innovations and research. 
it encourages open communication among the members for the betterment of the society it demands respect among each other respect for the librarians respect for the users and the most important oclc value based on sharing of resources sharing of knowledge sharing of cost so and so sustainability is the key to the success of this particular cooperative venture based on mutual trust of member libraries the oclc is a cooperative venture and members share their uh, various uh, resources services everything so in this what happen they contribute metadata including authority record to worldcat they download records from worldcat they share their holding information they share staff resources and expertise such as in reference cooperative they are also jointly making digital content available to other members they are sharing their services they subscribe or contracting out oclc library management system that will facilitate global sharing when transition or towards share what are the oclc products and services oclc has range of products and services to support the libraries and its collections which is directly benefited to the users some of the products and services uh, are as follows oclc worldcat world share library management systems electronic collection management services digital collection management cataloging and metadata services resource sharing and last but not least most importantly discovery services oclc worldcat service is a revolutionary service it is one of the largest union catalog of libraries of the world it provides a hub for that data with provision of services and application to find anything held in library collection around the world it it provides collection information of almost 311 million items comprising 2.1 billion holdings in 486 languages comprising 39.8% in english language and rest 60.2% in non english language it is a wealth of resources available in the world libraries on fingertips person can search a book from this catalog from anywhere in the world worldcat started in 1971 with the first bibliographic records added to oclc online catalog by staff at the Alden Library at Ohio University. In 2003, OCLC began the Open WorldCat pilot program, making abbreviated records from a subset of WorldCat available to partner websites and booksellers to increase the accessibility of its member library collection. In 2006, finally, it became possible to search WorldCat directly at its website. Let's talk about the collection of WorldCat. It has very high records as per the statistics on November 2013. It has about 239 million books. It has 203 million articles. It has 148 million pre-revised article. It has about 45.8 million. internet resources it has 15.6 million government publication it has 7 million musical score it has 31.5 million uh, archival material it has 4.7 million sound recordings it has 28.5 million conference proceedings it has 14.6 million institutional repository record it has 4.3 million ebooks 19.2 million thesis and dissertations 11.5 million visual materials 3.5 million encyclopedia entries and 1.2 million 
chapters from various books. Set has a wide range of collections. Now let's talk about the various kind of representation, uh, WorldCat facts and statics. Number of libraries represented worldwide in WorldCat is 72,000. And the holding of 72,000 library is over 2,089 million. And every second one record is added to this particular catalog. It has more than 486 languages in this particular catalog. And every four second, a resource is shared in this catalog. It has over 3,135 uh, million records, uh, bibliographic records. Every second, a record is searched in this particular catalog. And more than 172 countries are being representative in this particular uh, WorldCat. OCLC WorldCat data. What is there in WorldCat? It started as a, uni as a union catalog, but now that union catalog of books is no more limited to the books only. It has lot of collection. With the changing time, WorldCat is expanding with the new type of data ranging from ebooks and licensed materials special collections, open access materials, institutional data, vendor records, pattern data, library information such as open hours and landing policies, transactional and workflow data, acquisition and circulation data, resolver and transactions, knowledge based transactions, search and interlibrary lending. So one way OCLC WorldCat has become a virtual library. You can get every information about a library using WorldCat. So it, in, in one sense, it is a virtual library. OCLC National Library. National Library participation in the OCLC Global Cooperative is very important. And a number of OCL National Libraries are participating in that. WorldCat encourages the world national libraries to participate in this global initiative. It helps in increasing the visibility of cultural heritage. It also increases national identity and accomplices world culture with web searches through WorldCat. As of now, more than 44 national libraries around the world have been connected to WorldCat and nearly 80 million holdings of these 44 national libraries are available for share and for access to the worldwide academic or research community. OCLC WorldCat knowledge base. What basically uh, OC WorldCat combines? What is the knowledge base of uh, OCLC WorldCat? It combines data with digital and electronic collection and have the features that provides access link to the e-contents. It provides management of WorldCat holdings and delivery of WorldCat mark records for all e-resources and material. You all know mark record is a machine readable catalog uh, developed by Library of Congress. It also ensures that metadata and access links to the URLs of the e-contents are continuously updated in WorldCat. Come with integrated link resolution, open URL resolution and A to Z list. It provides various uh, search strategies. It facilitates faster, quicker and easy resources sharing of e-content with higher performance rates. World share community. Like what what are the community engaged in this world share program, world share platform of uh, OCLC? In this world share platform, library built applications, partner built application, OCLC built application. Like certain libraries are developing some application, some partners are developing application, and OCLC is also developing certain applications. And based on this 
or different kind of web services, data services, and infrastructure services are provided using this WorldShare platform. WorldShare, OCLC WorldShare is a cloud-based software platform with a set of integrated application which provides the cooperative technical infrastructure where WorldCAD data and WorldShare applications work together. WorldShare provides an integrated web-based set of library management application that eliminates traditional silos and deliver more efficiency to the stuff. You all know that cloud-based services are now very popular and cloud-based services have become very essential for libraries because generally libraries are not having infrastructure support, particularly technical manpower to manage the IT resources. The WorldShare applications provided by OCLC includes a first WorldShare management services which give one browser window access to acquisition, circulation, license management and metadata activities and coordinates seamlessly with the user friendly discovery and delivery services. Another important WorldShare services of OCLC is WorldShare Interlibrary Loan Service. Make it easier, faster and saves time to diverse resource sharing, centralized function in one place. It also have world sharing of metadata. Using WorldCat, you can download the cataloging record. You can also add your record which is accessible, accessible to the worldwide libraries. Then WorldShare License Manager, it comprises of link resolution, subscription information, license in and vendor site management. WorldShare platform is for the librarians who can do programming and can use data services, APIs and developer tools to incorporate WorldShare services and WorldCat data directly into the applications and library management services. OCLC what did for library management? OCLC provides locally deployed and cloud-based library management system to more than 9,000 libraries in Europe, Australia, Africa, and the United States, which have the functionality of acquisition, circulation, interlibrary loan, and cataloging. Because Library management system is very important for any library. Without a library management system, a library cannot provide catalog, online search to the catalog, and also other library or housekeeping operations. So it is must for the libraries, and OCLC is doing a very good work in this area. OCLC library management services are excellent. The, the number of library management system developed by OCLC are in use by various libraries all over the world. Amblev is a web based library management system developed in Australia and implemented in school public and special libraries primarily in Australia, Africa and UK also in the United States. Another library management system developed by uh, OCLC is Bibliotheca. It is one of very popular German based OCLC management system serving over 4000 public libraries in Germany, Switzerland and Austria. Local library system also known as LBS is a web based system library management system for the academic library used in more than 200 academic college library in the Netherlands and Germany. OLIV has been used in government, corporate, health and further education library in UK and Europe. SISIS, which is also known as Sunrise, is another management system developed by uh, OCLC for academic library, basically in German speaking regions. OCLC World Share Management Services. OCLC World Share Management Services, a unified web based environment that streamlines cataloging, acquisition, license management and circulation. It offers a powerful discovery and delivery tool for the library users. The benefit of OCLC WordShare management services include shared data, web-based services, 
cost benefits, increased efficiency, simplified workflow, time saving, discovery, and use of different apps. So you all know that a lot of duplications are involved in library works. Same book is being purchased in one library. And, and nowadays with the internet, a lot of problems have been emerged due to frequently changing URLs and also the increasing cost of the publication and sinking budget. So world share management services of OCLC are very essential and great of great benefit to libraries worldwide. Electronic collection management. OCLC is providing very useful tools for electronic collection management. OCLC works with libraries, publishers, and other partners to get ebooks, licensed e resources, and digital items to enable the management, discovery, and access of e resources or right alongside physical materials. OCLC being a cooperative venture of libraries as well as library industry. So all are the stakeholder in OCLC. So they, they easily agree to the various programs and policies developed by OCLC. OCLC has excellent electronic collection management services. Starting from acquisition to the dissemination, it has all kind of services. Let's talk about first world share acquisition. It is a unified acquisition for physical and electronic collection. It provides all the acquisition functions includes the world cat, publishers data, vendor data, other data, holdings and knowledge base. Another important uh, collection management service is world share license manager. It reduces the complexity of managing licenses. This service manages the license arrangements, rights, access and resolution to full tax from same interface and eliminate the need to synchronize data across multiple interfaces. WorldShare Collection Manager, it's excellent tool. It provides WorldCat records and holding for licensed digital and physical materials. The OCLC regularly update the data for all titles and access URLs which enhance discovery of e-content. One of the most important management system developed by OCLC is EZ proxy. It provides anytime, anywhere access to the e-resources to the users beyond the boundary walls of any institution. It is a very popular services which provides users with remote access to web-based license content. It is a middleware solution that authenticate library users against local authentication system and provides remote access to licensed content based on the user's authentication. In my university, in Jawaharlal Nehru University, we are using this service. Using this services, our student can access all the 72 data databases or all the 15, 16,000 e-journals from anywhere, anytime using EZ proxy services. OCLC has number of digital collection management services. OCLC offers to support the digital file cycle, life cycle, including managing, sharing, and preserving primary resource material through a range of solutions for digital photos, audio video files, documents, newspapers, maps, or any combination of material. Digital preservation is a very important requirement, particularly for rare and uh, heritage material and uh, many times uh, certain documents have its own life. So uh, OCLC is providing great support in digital preservation. It's uh, important support services uh, as follows. Content DM is the first one. It is a digital collection management software which handles the storage, management and delivery of collections in any format and make these digital collections available on the web to the users. Another important digital collection management services of the OCLC is WorldCat Digital Collection Gateway. What is WorldCat Digital Collection Gateway? Uh, OCLC provides a self-services tool for uploading the metadata of digital content to WorldCat 
and maximize web visibility of primary source material via this uh, collection gateway. Another important collection management, digital collection management service of OCLC is the digital archive. What happens in the digital archive? It provides a secure environment for managing and monitoring the health of digital contents as well as it forms a foundation for digital preservation of all your digital collection. So this digital preservation management, digital archiving service is, is something of great importance for historical library, uh, national library and even the libraries who are housing different kind of rare material. You know that OCLC was basically started with a cooperative cataloging or union cataloging purpose. Now over the year with the advent of computers and digital collections, uh, cataloging and metadata, although they are the synonym, but uh, has different connotations. So now uh, OCLC uh, provides a comprehensive service that work together to streamline technical processing, improve results and sustain quality with international standards for cataloging and metadata. It has number of functions, number of facilities. So let's talk about those facilities and functions. Connection is the first uh, support function of OCLC. It supports copy and original cataloging, enabling libraries to interactively create retrieve, edit and share WorldCat bibliographic and authority records to maintain WorldCat holding data. Accession is another important uh, support service. It supplies an electronic list of recently cataloged acquisitions. Uh, exchange of data is very important in a cataloging environment. Uh, JET 39.5 protocol uh, developed by the OCLC it enables our libraries to use their local J39.5 compliant interface through their local cataloging systems to search and retrieve records from WorldCat for copy cataloging. Another uh, important function is WorldCat Digital Collection Gateway. It is a self-service tool for uploading the metadata for a library's digital content to WorldCat. Cat Express. This service enables libraries with small collections and those that require an easy to use BAP based interface for staff with little or no cataloging experience to perform copy cataloging. Anybody can download record from catalog. OCLC World Share Management Service is another important service. It enables particularly help in acquisition. Acquisitions enables libraries to maintain WorldCat holding data from within the acquisition interface as items are received at the liberty. OCLC World Share Metadata Service is another good support services for this area. This provides a complete metadata management solution for physical licensed physical as well as licensed and digital resources across multiple formats with mark records for holding in the WorldCat knowledge base database. In this WorldCat knowledge base database, uh, all these things are uh, very well supported by OCLC. DB service. Now you all know DB decimal classification is important tool for classification. OCLC provides a dynamic structure for the organization of library collection. It integrates updates to the DDC almost as soon as they happen through quarterly electronic updates to BabDB and average BabDB. So now online you can classify your books. Terminology services are another important support service. It provides access to multiple controlled vocabularies, create consistent metadata for library collections. WorldCat selection, that's another important support service from OCLC. It streamlines the selection and ordering process for the new library materials and delivers the corresponding WorldCat records. There are a number of other services uh, like uh, it has WorldCat cataloging partners concept. 
Under that partnership concept, WorldCat records embedded with vendor acquisition data and self-ready data such as barcodes and call numbers for material, a library codes through participating vendor partners and sets holding automatically into WorldCat that save time of the libraries. Now, batch load is another important service uh, related to this uh, library housekeeping operation. It is an efficient way to add or delete large number of records and holding information offline. The service adds new records to WorldCat and update holdings information and local holding records for items a library holds. Coming to the uh, last two functions, WorldCat collection set is an important function uh, of this particular uh, area. It delivers WorldCat records for bander sets of microform and electronic collection that are ready to load into a library's local system. Now, last uh, in this area is contract cataloging. It provides multiple levels of cataloging services from copy cataloging to record creation to physical processing in all formation and all formats. This service is provided in almost 30 languages. So let's say for libraries which are not having language, no, foreign language, knowing people, that kind of service is uh, of quite, quite help. Resource sharing. You all know that OCLC was formed on the principle of resource sharing. So it has many functions of resource sharing, various services for resource sharing. OCLC provides users with the most comprehensive database of bibliographic and library ownership information and worldwide access to resources in member library collections. Some of these are WorldShare Interlibrary Loan. OCLC WorldShare Interlibrary Loan is a new service that will replace WorldCat resource sharing. Subscription of this service will provide multiple system and provide new functionality that speeds fulfillment of interlibrary loan requisitions and save time for staff and users. It will change the face of traditional interlibrary loan and will provide a truly integrated delivery solution that integrate discovery and delivery of electronic, digital and print materials within a single interface. Another important resource sharing service of uh, OCLC is WorldCat resource sharing. It is an efficient data library loan lending tool that simply li simplify library workflow and connect information seekers to materials in 10,000 libraries in 40 countries. This service will be closed after the launch of WorldShare interlibrary loan. Discovery services are very important nowadays. Uh, what is discovery service? Basically, you know, in a library, there are number of resources are being subscribed, various databases, number of journals, e-journals, library catalog, news clipping database, and all kind of services are there. So users have to go different location to search particular item. But discovery services help you in searching like Google. It provides single window access to all the resources of a library and OCLC has understand the importance of Google like search for libraries and that's why they launched a discovery services called WorldCat discovery services in March 2014. It is a basically cloud based application which interface with different kind of uh, library collections and provide single window search. has different uh, functions uh, like the worldcat.org it is a web portal to the worldcat global catalog with a support program of data syndication that's make library collection discoverable virtually anywhere on the world anytime anywhere concept is is very popular in that worldcat local it is a web scale discovery solution that delivers single search box access to more than 1,346 billion items from a library and the world's library collections. First search provides access to a core collection of reference databases and includes WorldCat as well as other databases like Cameo, 
Lactron eBooks and Oyster, WorldCat ORG and WorldCat Local Users that can we access these first search database through a user friendly single search box. Question point is a reference management service that provides libraries to interact with the users in multiple ways like through chatting, through email and uh, the web based tools enable this seamless integration of chat and email reference services which is very helpful for referral and reference services. Dear students, so we are coming end of this particular module. You must have learned about the one of the largest library cooperative venture OCLC. This OCLC has totally revolutionized the world library uh, system. It is always has been a worldwide cooperative uh, which in India efforts have been made to replicate it. Uh, if you remember uh, Delnet developing library network is a model is a local model developed on the lines of OCLC by uh, Delhi uh, developing library network in Delhi. Uh, it has achieved certain function but OCLC is providing services and research to improve access to the world's information. Now it has come up with a new suite of cloud based application that brings together the first search and WorldCat local services. It enables discovery of more than 1.3 million electronic digital and physical resources in libraries around the world through a single search of both WorldCat and Central Index. It has been always committed to offer library users and library staff access to rich global bibliographic content and enable information seeker from mutually subscribing libraries to search authoritative sources, direct link resolution and interlibrary loan had been the integral part of OCLC services. Last but not the least, OCLC cooperative is helping libraries in defining their places in the digital world, particularly in the new changing role of libraries, the new web skill services that amplify and extend library cooperation even further, which OCLC exists for it.